In today's What's Wrong With This House exercise, John and I are analyzing the South Port, which is a 4,310 square foot, four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home located in the estates of Garnet Valley in Glen Mills, Pennsylvania. And the home is two stories and it has a triple attached garage on the main floor. So to see our slow home test score for the project, you can click on the link in the bottom of the post. But let's have a look at the plans. We'll right. start with the site plan. Okay, and uh, it scored 45 out of 100 on the walk score, so it's that means in it's a typical car yeah. dependent suburban location. Right. So I don't think we can give it the points for location. I agree with you about and that. And there's nothing on the site that says, on the website, that talks about environmental performance of these houses. It's 4,300 square feet, it's in yeah. the middle of nowhere. So no points for that. Yeah. Siting, here's the site plan. You know, I don't think the site plan is actually that bad. I think the thing that is uh, what the developer is trying to do, which I think is quite effective, is that none of the lots are backing onto each other. So no. even in the condition where we've got sort of these center lots that typically would be fenced to fence they've actually created a bit of a strip of green space as a buffer and I think that's actually not a bad thing so I think that we should award it the points for siting because of the way that they've organized this makes sense to me of course the, to, to really understand siting you need to think about orientation which would mean you need to match the house to the lot exactly and so some lots are so going to be better than others that's right we're right. going to be giving it the benefit of the doubt yeah. in, in, in a certain way yeah. so now let's look at the house itself and we need to talk about organization. And this is one of those houses that has a colliding geometry. Yeah. 45 degree angles throughout, particularly on the main floor. Yeah. And, uh, and an orthogonal outside. Yeah, side. I have to say that the plan, just looking at it, burns my eyes. And I think that the problem is when you see all these 45 degree angles, we notice this in these plans, we've got all these darkened areas, which is, means that the whoever's designed the plan is trying to resolve things by building out these chunk walls. And those are just wastes of space everywhere. I mean, it's just really like a stage set inside. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me right but but even more than though than that it's really the the kind of colliding uh, circulation space and the, the the strangely shaped rooms like how do you actually <laughs> expect to use that part of that living no. room this part of that dining room and you know the study the study is really only this big because of that yeah and we've got 45 that. degree angles combined with curves and it just none of it sort of fits together in any sort of a neat way no and that stair is is is, is not really <laughs> helping any. so we're going to give it zero points for for organization exactly Entry. it's got a huge two-story foyer entrance the closet's over on the side i think the front entrance is a little grand for my taste but i think it's fine it's the back entrance i agree there. we've got that same issue where we're walking in from the garage and we've got the shared space you know, with the laundry we've got a 4300 <laughs> square foot house and we've got to put the washer dryer yeah, right by jam. Back door. It doesn't in. make any sense. No. It's just bad. No. You know? And we've There's... got all of this space in the front for the entry, the grand entry, and the day to day business of the house is jammed into the side. That's I mean, right. If you've just... got a four bedroom house and you need to have those, and those bedrooms are filled, you're going to have lots of stuff going on. Yeah. And that's just it's not, not good. Not enough room. Living. Okay. I hate the living room. We already talked about it earlier. I mean, we're going to put our furniture around the fireplace. Uh, we've got two tiny windows to the front, which is awful. A whole world of wasted space. I mean, what are you going to do in there? And then in the back, we've got a family room, which is better. But look at how removed this is from the rest of the house. Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. No, no, it's not. They're both quite removed from 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 the rest of the house. So we're yeah. going to give that a zero, zero points. Outdoor living from the site plan, it looks like it's got lots of, yeah. lots of uh, outside space. There's doors from the family room. Yeah. So we're going to give that a point. Exactly. The kitchen. I hate the kitchen, and the reason I hate it is because we've got all of this counter space, and the island, it's all so tentative, it's all shifted off from each other. This here at the back, we've got the appliances all jammed together yeah. <laughs> in this wall, and then we've got a world of counter space and all this excess floor space. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, look at the work triangle. Like, we're going to have the stove. Like, there isn't a work triangle. You've got to walk around the island to get to the fridge, or walk around the island to get to the sink. It doesn't make any sense. Right. I had the same problem with the dining room that we had with the living room, which is, you know, you're going to put your table there, <laughs> and then you've got this sort of prow of the ship with all of the windows yeah you know you could probably put another another table there it just I doesn't know. make a it lot doesn't. of sense it's just it's poorly proportioned yeah it's you know too it's big. nice to have a nice dining room and that's a good location for it but it's just it's too big it's too awkwardly shaped i agree with you so moving to the bedrooms talk I, about okay. awkward shapes. <laughs> the bedrooms i have to point out the master i mean look at the shape of this master bedroom it is something out of caesar's palace in las vegas i mean it's the biggest thing i've ever seen Basically, the main part of the bedroom is here. If that was just the proportion of the master, I would, I would understand that. But why do we have this big opulent rotunda going into the walk-in closet area and then this oddly shaped, it call, they're calling it a den, but like really, what are you going to do in there? Well, yeah, and I mean, I, I, I like the idea, particularly in a large house, of there being a sort of suite of rooms for the master in the master area so that you have some place to go. But, but really, when you look at this, this is when you see that 
gliding the geometry issue. The, those are, those are but really actually, look at how they are doing, dealing with the doors. I mean, yeah. they've got double doors on the corner coming in. I no, mean, I know. And so it makes this room very difficult. <laughs> it makes the circulation awkward. The whole thing is, is, is kind and of... The other bedrooms aren't much better. I think they've got weird closets and lots of sort of panhandle hallways. I don't think they're very good. No. Bathrooms? <laughs> well, so, I mean, this one, this one is fine. That's actually pretty good. This one is fine. The, yeah. the powder room is fine. It's this one, though, that's getting it's, a little out of control. It is out of control. And we've got, again, the same issue. We've got a super-sized tub, too much floor space, and then the vanity spaces. The vanities are jammed in on those corners. I yeah. mean, it's not very very functional. So no points for that. No points the for study, that. The study, even though it's an odd shape, it's in a good location, looks out. I think that it should get the point. Agreed. Laundry. We already talked about not. it because of that talked about it yeah and then three car garage i'm sorry but this is 2010 i mean we've got to conserve that a little bit better okay so the results are that we gave this house a four out of 20 on the a Sloan pretty test, bad score which is a pretty fast house and for me the worst part of this house was the organization because it just seemed the the decision to put that 45 degree angle really for no good reason at all just messes up so many other parts of the house and takes what could be a good house and, and I think makes the rooms very different. Yeah, and I have to say I hate the master bedroom. I mean, just the, <laughs> the whole way that it's organized is just so opulent and over the top. It's just not appropriate. Thanks for watching this slow home design segment.